Oh wait, fuck. Hold, hold on, excuse me. Ugh. Can I... Can I sign out? Yeah, I'm on the wrong account. Oops. Alright, so... There we go. We have Sonic is Dead 6969. Obviously, before you jump down my throat, I'm kidding about that. Like, people actually think I'm serious. Like, no. The, you really think I can't distinguish the difference between something that's dead and what's not? Sonic is dead to me. So, if that counts, at least right now, I don't know. This next game, man. That'll do it for me. Oh, I have, like, all the DLC for this game, too. See, I told you guys I love this game. <laughs> Something I never understood, though, is the models are, like, placed in a different direction. <laughs> They're, like, kind of crooked and off to the side. I don't know. It's weird. It's all right. We give thanks for the blessed flames. May we always continue to have peace. Son of Soliana, guide and watch over us with your eternal light. Pleasure to meet you at last, Princess of Soliana. I am Dr. Eggman. I've come here to obtain the secret of the flames of disaster from you, and to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secret, the Chaos Emerald. Now, Princess, this way, please. That's a pretty snazzy performance there. <gasps> you? special reason. I've got 
got it! And don't worry, I'll rescue you! I know. Hmm. It's only a matter of time before it's mine. Until then, you can hold on to it for me. What's Eggman up to? I need to gather some information. Welcome to Soliana, the city of water. So we're going to be spending a lot of time here. Um, basically, this is the central hub world for the whole game. Because, you know, hubs actually exist in this game. Uh, already off to a great start for what I love in a Sonic game. Now, obviously, people could very well just dislike this video and be like, Oh, but the hub worlds suck! Okay. They're huge, and there's not much in them, but, I mean, it's not like it's that big of a burden. Like, seriously. I, I'm, I love this so much more than just level to level. So, anyway, we have to talk to Tails. Tails! Long time no see! I'm glad you're here. I heard that you tried to save their princess from Dr. Eggman. You're going to rescue her, aren't you? Let me help! I may not know what Eggman's up to, but it can't be a good thing. Okay. With your help, this should be a piece of cake. <laughs> I'll do my best! So the great thing about this playthrough, for you guys as the viewers, is that I'm not going to be a lost puppy. I actually know exactly where I'm going, exactly what I'm doing. So I'm not going to be walking around going like, Oh, where the fuck am I going? I don't know what to do! Woo! Like, I know this game inside out. I have 100%ed it. Um, I think... I think I only 100%ed it once. But, I don't know, I might do it again. Not on camera, fuck that. But, um, I did do it once. I think I got close to doing it a second time. But I just never got around to it, so... Anyway... This is... Oops. This is very fucking easy. This is something people complain about, too, right off the bat. Like, oh, why do you have to run through rings? Um, why does it matter? Like, I think people just... Want Sonic to just be a straight level-to-level, nothing-else-in-between type thing. And I guess I get that. But I really don't see the problem with subquests. Like, at least this sort of made sense. Like, this is how Sonic gets the gems. He, it's these shoes. Like, sure, his shoes don't even change. Like, they're the same ones he had just before we even started the mission. But, I mean, it's a cool, like, little idea that they just that threw incredible. in. I don't know. First S rank to start off the game. Subquests, you need 30,000 points for an S. Uh, main levels, you need 50. Or more, obviously. And rings actually play a very vital thing in this game, unlike every game since Colors. Because you can actually buy upgrades with them, which I think is really awesome. I think I honestly prefer that. I don't know. I really liked how SA2 did it, where you could just find them in the levels. Some you needed to progress. Others were optional, such as the Mystic Melody, the Magic Hands. But... I don't know, I, I thought the shop was pretty cool. It gave rings another purpose, other than just, like, you know, all you need is really one ring, and that's fine, just keep picking up that one ring. But in this game, you actually felt something when you had 200 plus rings and you lost it. You were like, oh shit, I was saving up for that power up, but then you lose it, so. I don't know, I think they should bring upgrades back into Sonic games and either handle it the way this game did, or SA2 where you find them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys prefer. Because I honestly... Th I think buying them was really cool at like a shop. But finding them is cool too. I don't really care. <laughs> like either way. But um... Anyway, this is Wave Ocean. The level that... 500 people are porting to Lost World at the moment. <laughs> like as I record this video. There's I think... Three or four different people... Currently working on a Lost World uh, mod for... Or, uh, oh my god, sorry, I can't fucking talk. I'm like looking at my phone because it keeps lighting up. 
They're working on a Wave Ocean mod for Lost World. I don't know why so many people are doing this level all of a sudden, but I'm perfectly okay with it. Um, and I actually did a... Oh, shit. I actually did a video on one of them. It was very early. So, th it was, like, very unfinished and everything. It was not polished at all. Um, but it was really fun, and it really shows you how well the um, Sonic Lost World gameplay would work with freaking um, open-world levels, like, normal levels that aren't tubular garbage. Like, I know a lot of people probably like the Lost World levels, and that's fine, but I personally believe the game suffered because of that. Like, the tubes were just really stupid. They were very, very linear. I don't know. A lot of people say that it all leads for clever level design. Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, if so, I still have yet to see it. I mean, then again, they only did tubes for one game, and I'm really hoping they never come back. Because the gameplay was actually more fun when I was playing this level, uh, Wave Ocean. So, I don't know. I feel like these open world, especially real world environments, if you don't know me by now, you clearly know that... I think real-world environments work a lot better than, like, I guess, how Lost World did it. But that's just me. Everyone can think differently, but I personally believe, and I think the popular opinion is out also, like, real-world. Like, everybody says they love the levels in Unleashed, and, and you should. Like, there is no way anybody can just sit there and be like, oh yeah, like, I don't care if you hate Unleashed. Like, that's perfectly fine. But you can't sit there and tell me that candy floating everywhere looks better and fits Sonic more than, say, like, Jungle Joyride or something. Like, I don't know. It just makes so, so much sense. Now, this game, I guess, took it too realistically, I guess people could say. I personally don't care for this game. As you should know by now, I absolutely love 06. But I guess I could see why people think this is too realistic or some shit um unleashed was definitely a perfect blend i believe with like cartoon realism sort of thing but this wasn't i don't know it wasn't that bad the humans were definitely too like realistic i i can say that about this game right now as for the levels i don't know i i think they're fine like they feel very sonic -y. they have loops they lead for awesome level design oh that's another thing i didn't even talk about yet the level design in this game is actually really awesome, like, I mean, we're wall jumping right now, this is a new mechanic, I mean, it doesn't really take much to do, you just click A, but, I don't know, I think it's really cool, I always thought the wall jumping idea they had in this game was really awesome. Um, same for this mock speed, as you can tell, we're going significantly faster than we just were, because there are some segments in Sonic's levels where he just decides, hey, let's go a little bit faster. So, it's an automated section, all you can do is jump, go left and right, and you have access to one of your abilities, the light dash, as you can see I just did it right there, and you basically just need to run to the goal ring. Everybody seems to hate these sections because you don't have control after you jump. While I do agree that's really stupid, all you have to do is get good, and then they're actually really fun. So I just flew through that level, got well over the required amount for an S rank. And that is plus 3,000 rings for our total. It looks like the princess was moved to another location. Let's head back to the city. Alright, so before we actually end the video, I'm gonna do one last thing real quick. It is another sub-quest. There's that stupid girl got trapped on the rooftop somehow. So basically all you have to do is come back to, um, to Steven Nux over here in the shop. And he's gonna take 500 bucks from you. You're gonna get anti-gravity, which I don't know what the fuck it is, but it allows Sonic to do this. I don't understand what the power-up even is. Maybe it's like a chip that goes in his shoe or something. I don't fucking know. It's pretty weird. 
Um, although I do find it very useful when trying to attack enemies. So you'll see that once we get into another level, but here she is. She's just fucking crying. Even though she could very easily jump into the water, which I would love doing. Oh my god, I love jumping off of, like, high objects into water. It's really dangerous <laughs> if it's not, like, a concealed place, like a water park. But I would definitely be climbing up there, like, every day in the summer and just go swimming. So now this bitch is like... Yo, man, that was so fucking cool, man! Oh! Oh. oh. Alright. Well... <laughs> That's it for this, then this old fuck is gonna give us permission to go here. But we're not gonna do that in this video, we're gonna do that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, if you're excited for more Sonic 06, leave a like. I'm definitely really excited to be doing this series, because, as I've said multiple times already, I really, really do like this game. So I'm really happy to be doing something that I'm excited to do. I hope you guys are looking forward to more, and let me know what you think I should do after this. Do you want me to do Sonic Adventure 1 again? Or, not again, but... You know, since that was the alternative for this game. So let me know what you would like to see as another series after this, because I have a feeling this isn't going to take me very long. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.